When we started seven years ago uh, and founded Storyful, the whole challenge of verifying content and video really related to international news, the Arab Spring and other things. And it was, a, it was an amazing opportunity to show how technology and editorial can work together to, to do verification, particularly a video. A few years later, we moved beyond just hard news to start using the same process of verification and moved into rights clearance and management and licensing of video. So that was sort of the second tier of what we did. Now, you know, seven years later, the challenge of verification is probably greater than it ever has been and it's not just news and it's not just viral video, it's everything. It's brands need to make sure they're not being fooled by fake news. Uh, we need to make absolutely sure that not just our news partners but our brand and marketing partners are getting verified content. And so we thought maybe that would fade away, the need for verification. If anything, it's growing. So tell us about some of the processes you use. And I know you have a new technology uh, uh, on the browser, on the Chrome browser. Uh, Explain a little bit about how you do it. It's kind of the old fashioned way with your team and how technology also works. Yeah, and uh, our process from the very beginning has been what I call a layered process. There's a layer of technology in terms of discovery. We have a social uh, news gathering system that alerts us to news of any kind, news, weather, politics, viral, any kind of event we're alerted to by our technology. A layer of editorial goes on top of that to assess which parts of that are worth looking at, worth assessing, worth verifying. Then another layer of technology goes in above that to say, okay, we're looking at these five or 10 videos, which ones are the real ones? Which one ones are the original ones? Which ones do we need to debunk? So that level of technology comes in behind that. So it's always been that combination. Uh, and we now have the ability through Chrome browser that we've launched uh, an extension on the Chrome browser called Verify, that if you are a journalist or a marketer or a brand person looking at any piece of video on the, on the web, you can look up at our Chrome extension, and if it's green, that means we have it already. It's verified by us. If it's not, then you can request, uh, come to us and request, we want that video, we want to know whether it's real, or we want to know if it's been debunked. So that's a way for us to tap into and harness the power of all of our clients and partners and what they're looking for and what they're looking at. And David, uh, the transformation of the news environment uh, as we've witnessed recently, you know, give us your perspective, being at CNN, being kind of in this business for quite a while, um, seeing how the sort of homegrown independent news sources power things, maybe distort things, and the role of the more established media. How do you see the sort of transformation going on? Well, the, our approach when we founded Storyful, we were disruptive, no doubt about it, we were disruptive, but we were absolutely not starting Storyful in order to destroy a traditional uh, business model of news or to uh, take away from what traditional news uh, was doing. And in fact, one of the reasons we've been successful is that we partner with news companies. And initially that partnership was just about verifying news content so that they could use it and harness the power of user-generated content. But the deeper that those partnerships became, they and we realized that there were opportunities to look at a much broader set of video and a much broader set of content because pretty much every news company that we partner with is also trying to plan their future. They need to be making money as well as covering the news. And some of them make money covering the news, but in many cases they need another broader strategy, whether it's branded content or uh, monetizing video across the entire social web or whatever their strategy is, we've partnered them with them to make sure that you know, their news side is looked after, they're getting authentic, verified content. But if they're planning branded partnerships, if they're doing content marketing, if they're doing something else which is also making the money to pay for the news, we can partner with them as well. So the partnerships have become deeper and they, they and we have followed this uh, kind of dual strategy that most news companies are involved in, which is that everyone knows that you know, if you're lucky, news pays for itself. Some of the news, biggest news brands, it does. But for many, you need something else. You need something to replace the classified ads. You need something to replace the advertising that you uh, get on, on television, on cable news. Eventually, you need to be able to replicate that across the entire web. And we're sort of partnering with those news companies and with the people within those media companies who do things beyond news. They do the branded content and they do other things. And verification is just as important there as it is 
uh, on the news side. You, you want authentic content. You want to make sure that you're not getting fooled by fake content or fake news.